Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Nichi Joe, episode number two reaction. All right, the previous episode, it was the beginning of this show and uh, it was chaos. Completely so many things happened. So many things which has no correlation to each other happened. And we met a lot of characters, uh, half of them whose names I don't remember. Um, I'm guessing I'm going to get accustomed to their names as I keep watching them. Uh, but uh, as far as I could gather, there's like four main characters, I think, four or something like that. Like two, one is like the professor, uh, the other one is um, Nano, I think that was her name, the robot. I think it was something like that. Uh, that was something like that was her name. These two are like one of, well, two of the main characters and the two m m more main characters there were. One was like a blue haired girl. I don't remember her name. And then there was like that another girl, which I also don't remember uh, their name. Uh, those two are like, uh, I think, school students. And uh, these, I, I felt like these two were like, these four were the main focus of the whole uh, episode. Uh, other than that, there was a lot of other characters as well. For example, um, the third friend of that, the other two girls. Um, I think she's also probably one main character. I wasn't able to understand. Uh, but I think her name was Neo or something like that. I don't remember. Um, then there was uh, Tasahara or something like that. The name that, of the guy who the blue haired girl likes, uh, who like <laughs> rides on a goat and comes in. <laughs> and the teacher, the, the like you know the teacher was another character that we met. And you know these were like all the characters that we met in the previous. Oh, the principal. The principal also was another character and uh, like a lot of things happened first of all uh um, nano i think that was her name she blew up completely uh <laughs> because she tripped trying to uh, chase a cat who took their food and uh, other than that uh the two girls they were like you know doing they were going to school and then in the school there was like that whole uh, octopus um you know like wiener incident where the thing kind of was falling down but she tried to get it uh, unfortunately it fell down but she used the three second rule to <laughs> and put it back in her mouth uh, that was that uh, there, there was that whole thing about the principal giving a speech and you know the principal is weird <laughs> and uh, the, the teacher the homeroom teacher uh, she was talking about someone putting the statue like you know in her locker and it ended up that it was that the principal who was the one who put it because it was her birthday or something. <laughs> and uh, then there was that also the final section where we find out that Nano's uh, toe comes out. Um, it's, it's just a feature that the professor put on her. And she also doesn't like the fact that there's like a key behind her back. She cannot sleep, do anything properly. So she was like, why didn't you make me normal? And the professor was sad, but then she was like, ah, oh, it's fine. Okay, I'm, I'm joking. <laughs> like that whole thing. So yeah, that was like, and it was a funny episode. Like, let's see what this episode brings. And uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to this. So without further ado, let's get started. This is episode number two of Nichi Joe. So I'll be putting the subtitles from the timer here. Think it to whichever is your preference and let's get started. Okay, here's the countdown. Three, two, one. Go. Oh, Glico. What is this game? That's an interesting game. What the hell was that? Wait, what? That was cheating, wasn't it? Oh, my was her name, not Mio. 50-50? Why is it... <laughs> Wait, what is this? Is this like a thing? Yeah. Uh. 
Nah, she won. Oh, understandable. Who's who's resurrection? <laughs> okay. Oh my god. Wait. I, I'm like rock paper scissor I know. What is this? Is this a gun or something? I have no idea. Like I, I only know rock pepper and scissor. What is this? I think there's a gun or something. I don't know. You know, she's... The way she's... <clears throat> All right. Hmm. <laughs> Is she late or something? What's happened? Oh, okay. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> How late is she? I've gone to pick kick for what? <laughs> Oh. Who is that? Hello. <laughs> okay, are we going to ignore that? Okay, I guess. Yeah, ah, we just ignored that. <laughs> oh, oh, my God, the way she's running. <laughs> oh. Okay. Hmm. You have to defeat me to pass this point. Okay. What? Um, what is this? Like a gold, silver? That thing? Yeah! Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> Is she going to hold her an actual... <laughs> what? Oh. Wha okay. Uh, can you please give the money back? Is another mask within it? Oh no. It's your si the sister. Kubarashi indeed. 
she did that. Oh my god. That's her money. <laughs> okay, wow. Spell. Oh, uh, it's a resurrection spell. What type of a... Oh no. Oh no. That's sad. <laughs> Drawing sharks. Ah. Uh. Hmm. <laughs> Milk. Okay. Ah, she fall asleep. <laughs> okay. Whoa. Okay. Yeah, she wants to become taller or something. What the? Wait, what? <laughs> Wait, that ha that was like a feature? <laughs> Why is that? Okay. No more milk for you. <laughs> she herself didn't know. Oh my god. <laughs> well, I'm... Ah. I guess it's fine. A roll cake doesn't hurt anyone. Um... Okay. Okay. What about the roll cake? Uh. Oh no, she wait. <laughs> Okay, grab it quickly. Nah, it only works with the remote control. <laughs> oh no. Hmm. Well. Oh my gosh, it's still. <laughs> it's probably nice. Wait. She's a robot. Where does the food go? Oh my god, she wants that. <laughs> uh, oh my god, she just put it in completely. <laughs> well. Yeah. <laughs> oh, where where is it? On her 
left hand or right hand or leg? Oh, it's just. <laughs> yeah, that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Oh, here, this this section again. Oh wow. <laughs> what? <laughs> Notebook. Probably. <clears throat> Last time, yeah, I don't think so. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hmm. <laughs> oh, Mio is her name. Okay. What? Is there something in inside the notebook? Oh no! Oh no! Probably something related to. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> oh. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah, not only that, like if she. <laughs> She opens it in front of everyone else. Yeah. Oh. Um. That was. Thomas Curse. Okay. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Thousand yen. <laughs> she brings out money again. Just like she did before with her sister. Oh my god. Oh, I think she realizes something's probably in the notebook. She realizes that there's something in it and she wants to see it. <laughs> you are sister. What? Hmm.
Wow, okay. <laughs> Extra slow motion for dramatic effect, you know? Wow, okay. How fast is she running even? They're running so fast. The visuals aren't able to keep up. Everything's like a sketch now. Like, look at this. <laughs> oh. Oh. Missed. How, how big is this school? <laughs> how big is this school? Oh! Shining gun! <laughs> oh! Oh, okay. And that works. I guess. <laughs> Why was she running? Was she just running because she wanted to see what was in it? She didn't get- oh my god. I really hope she didn't mistake the notebook. Like it was actually some other notebook. What? What were you doing? What was she doing after coming back? Oh my god. <laughs> what? Oh, okay. What? Annaka, who's that? New character. A new character. <laughs> Is that her? Eh? Yeah, it kind of looks like bunny ears. Cake. Ah, the professor and... I don't know. <clears throat> She want to eat some cake as well? Ah, sold out. That's a shame. Family size cake. Okay. What? Oh, is that girl? The one who shot Sasahara? Why is he wearing that? Okay. <laughs> ah, the way she, he drinks it, so elegant, beautiful. <laughs> ah, delicious. What? What? <laughs> the way he laughed. <laughs> it's so elegant. Wine testing. <laughs> Ha ha ha.
<laughs> okay. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh wow. That's out of ideas. <laughs> Oh, you just left? <laughs> okay. I wonder where she gets her firearms from. Why oh, interesting. <laughs> just waiting for him. Oh, damn! What is this? <laughs> the way <wind. laughs> Perfect. Oh no. Yeah, it's time to leave. Mm. Wow. Oh my god, that was funny. Oh, I feel like this episode, uh, the last portion was extremely funny. Like the f final portion, Sahara's portion. Oh, that was great. <laughs> okay. I love how chaotic the opening and the anime itself is but the ending is like like this you know like mellow and just calm Wow, okay. Is that it or there's something left? I think that's it, isn't it? No, wait, what is this? What? Amashoku Kanshoku. Oh, okay. It's like a. I was like, what's happening? Is this like a preview? And then I'm like, yeah, it's a preview. <laughs> or no, it's, it's not a preview, I guess. It's kind of like a little skit in the end. Okay. All right. Oh boy, this episode. <laughs> oh, it, it was great. Okay, the first we begin with. You know what? I feel like it's just like a recurring theme. Like the guy, you know, with the headphones just uh like you know we, we're going to see him in every opening scene like in the previous episode as well we saw him and you know like he bumped with a uh, nano and got blown up and uh, was on top of the thing all along uh and here again in this beginning of this episode we see him just like you know casually just walking with the headphones on um i'm going to keep an eye out for him in in next week's episode again in episode three if i see him again in episode three at the beginning i'll be i'll like i'll be like i uh, it, it would be understood like and I, I can understand then then yeah this is like a this will be a recurring theme that this guy will always be there in every episode beginning of every episode he'll always be there that's just casually walking or something that'll be kind of funny you know <laughs> okay so we start with um 
Okay, you know what? Let me bring up their names again. Uh, there's their names. I'm still having a little bit trouble to remember their names. Michijo. Uh, I know a few of their names, but a few I am actually forgetting. I'm kind of mixing them up as well because I think I remember I I called the girl whose name was uh what was her name Mai as Mio, but okay, Mio is the name of the blue-haired girl. Mai is the name of the glasses girl and yuko is the name of the other girl uh the the brownish haired girl that girl uh, I, I remember the professor and i also remember Munano. their names are pretty uh, easy to remember uh so okay i need to get accustomed to the other three <clears throat> and i also know sasahara sasahara i remember okay so <clears throat> we start with um a game uh i i think it's like a game where you do rock paper scissor then the person who wins uh like you know spells a word and goes on top of the stairs to the number of words and uh like mio did it at first i feel like mio is the most uh you know like normal out of the bunch you know like she's i feel like she's like the character who is you know like always like you know like in this type of comedy show i've seen like you know in uh, not only like you know in japanese anime like you know in a lot of like you know uh, comedy shows there's always that as japanese say like the sukumi and the bokeh where one actually does these weird like you know shenanigans while the person who is the uh, sukumi yeah he or she kind of like retorts or you know like stops them and like kind of says like a like you know like a word to like you know like that that's how they like you know do their sukkum so that thing like you know, there's always that once one person who is like you know the most normal out of the bunch who kind of is like you know kind of what do you call it always retorts back to whatever dumb stuff the other people are doing uh gintama also has that shinpachi in, in gintama shinpachi is the uh, Sukumi, while uh, Gintoki and Kagura are the bokeh, you could say. Like, both of them do weird stuff, while Shinpachi always retorts. So, here, I'm guessing uh, among these three, um, Mio, I think that was the name, yeah, Mio. Yeah, Mio is the Sukumi, while the other two are the bokeh. <laughs> Especially Yuko. Yuko is like the, like, you know, the, the bigger one, you know, <laughs> while um, Mai is like the silent person but she also does weird stuff which are kind of funny <laughs> okay so <clears throat> mio goes up like, like at first she kind of does the whole like you know like spells up pineapple and then they do the rock paper scissor again one thing i'm seeing here there's like a poster on that place called there's like a, a monster on the poster and it's called namahage i've heard the name namahage before what is that let me check namahage uh nama Namahage. I've heard it so many times. What is a Namahage? Demon like beings portrayed by men wearing hefty oni ogre masks and traditional straw capes. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Okay. Anyways, never mind. I kind of <laughs> got distracted by that. All right. So, <clears throat> uh, she does that, and then is the time for okay. Wait a minute. The first rock paper scissor that they do. Where is it? Okay, the first one, Mai actually brings out a rock. I saw that. The next one, wait, the next one, what was this? Who brought out that? One of them brings out this. Okay, that was not Mai. Mai actually brought out a scissor. Am I missing something? What is this? I've never seen this in a rock paper scissor game. Like, I have no idea what that is. Uh, but uh, never mind. Um, okay, so Yuko wins the second game. She, oh my god, she she does a weird thing here. She kind of adds more words into it and she's like oh we can do that so <laughs> my 
this time my does this like i have no i still know like you know like if you guys know let me know what is this like i don't i've never seen anything like this in a rock paper scissor game um <laughs> but yeah like she wins and she starts uh <laughs> spelling out the resurrection spell or something in a video game and it, it just completely goes up to the top and she wants wins and in the end she's like oh it's a spell of restoration or resurrection <laughs> okay that's how it starts the next uh, scene we see uh mio getting up and she's late she sees her alarm clock has stopped she's late her mom has gone to like you know kick volleyball for a kick volleyball match or something and she's like oh my god i don't have time like packs the bag it does everything goes out starts running it's a weird person just standing outside his her house with a weird mask she doesn't even realize that just goes uh in front of the traffic lights she's like wait a minute did i just did i just miss something what was that <laughs> so kind of um, her mind goes into rewind mode and she realized something weird was standing there <laughs> i was i was just i was like wait a minute are we going to ignore that whole thing <laughs> just a kind of random person just standing <laughs> Oh my god, and she looks back and we see her just chasing her. I love the way she was chasing. That was her sister. I love the way she was chasing her. She was chasing her like this. <laughs> oh my god. I, I love the chase scenes in this anime. It's just so amazing. You know, like this chase scene, the later one that comes, the one where <laughs> Mio actually chases um, Yuko. Yeah, Yuko. <laughs> okay, uh, the masked girl passes her. And is in front of her and she brings out a wooden fish what was that fish um yeah wooden fish it's like did you drop a wooden fish and then she brings out a golden fish and i was thinking like what are we going to do like you know if, and i'm sure the next one she'll bring out is a silver one and after that if we deny all that no, is is she going to hold us an original fish or something like that's how the legend goes you know like um the woodcutter and the axe you know wooden axe uh no sorry silver axe or golden axe the woodcutter says like neither of them and uh, then he actually you know the, the the goddess or god i don't remember which what was it actually i think it was goddess yeah hands him over the original woodcutter axe and then the other two as well so I was I was thinking like is she going to hold like you know return to her like an original fish or something? But before she does that, <laughs> Mio brings out money and she's like ah there you go like please forgive me I don't know what I did wrong plus but please I'm sorry and uh, <laughs> I I notice this now she tries to uh you know like pull, like what do you call it like get out of situations like this by using money and later on as well she kind of tried to pay yuko money to give the thing back which is i think like which is like her uh what do you call it her um uh what do you call it habit or something like that <laughs> so she offers her money her sister takes it and actually pockets it and then she's like ah my true identity is like another mask underneath it <laughs> And then she opens it and she's like, ah, I'm your sister. And Mio uses a corkscrew. Some random gentleman walking through the road. The old man was like, ah, what a spectacular corkscrew we are seeing this morning. <laughs> and uh, okay, and then we get to know the sister was the one who stopped the alarm clock. She gets another corkscrew. And then she's like, all right, here's your money. Uh, no, she's like, okay, I'm going to give you this money or something. Yeah, and no, I'll treat you to ramen. Brings out the money. <laughs> Mew is like, that's my money. <laughs> okay. And then a little section of my actually uh, putting on the resurrection spell in the game. And in the end, she probably make a, made a mistake spelling it. And it was wrong. Oh boy, I, I remember. Like you know, the, I have similar experiences. Like I, I feel like like you know, you know like when like the, those type of like serial codes or whatever. You know, you get to redeem something. You know, you put that in, 
press apply and then you realize that you made a mistake and you're like oh my god i need to check that whole thing again to see if i made a like you know spelling error or something it was something like that all right the next scene the professor and the nano uh i wasn't able to realize this in the previous episode but this episode is very apparent the professor is really childish you know i can see that she she's like a literal child like you know she, she kind of um uh, gets angry you know like at simple stuff and like kind of acts like a child kind of uh you know like what can i say um asks for stuff you know uh for uh like you know uh, to uh, what's her name nano you know kind of um throws tantrums and everything kind of like a child and she's she's like a little i, I don't even know what, what is her age even i think she's probably very young it, it like this is anime you cannot like you know guess their age by looking at them so i'm guessing she's, she's probably like 10 or something i'm guessing something like that and uh, like it's kind of surprising because at that age i'm guessing she's young i'm not sure uh if she's young then it's surprising that at that age she was able to make a robot you know, like that means her iq level is really like she's probably one of those child prodigies or something <laughs> and uh, okay so they're just sitting down she's just like you know coloring some sharks and she loves sharks we can see that and she's just you know just looking at the sky like oh no no look at that a shark in the sky nano's like yeah and nano brought milk for her and uh, she's quite excited to drink the milk so nano puts it in her uh, glass and uh, <laughs> The professor is like, oh, finally, milk is here. Now I can eat my roll cake. <laughs> Pushes a button and <laughs> Nano's hand, a roll cake comes out of it. Nano's surprised. Nano's like, why did you do that? What would happen if that happened in front of everyone? But yeah, the professor is not like, nah. And then Nano just sees the professor like, you know, just having the meal, like, very happy, you know, drinking the milk and just laying around just you know having fun giggling nano's like you know what ah, it's okay just a roll cake no, it doesn't hurt and she's like can you give me some too <laughs> i love the way she gave her the at first she was like what and then she's like oh sure and oh my god this so remind me did me so much of like you know, like actually like, you know little children does the do this i've seen this them doing this as well and whenever you ask something from them like you know, which is like probably their favorite food or something <laughs> at first it takes you know they take the time to register in their mind that oh you know that person is actually asking me for the thing that i'm eating and then when they realize you know some children like you know just refuse but some children who are, you know, kind of more, what can I say, like, uh, what can I say, more um, nicer, they kind of think about it and they're like, all right, you know, like, gives a little bit to it. So I was thinking, like, you know, the professor would probably give her, like, a small bit of it or something. But she actually put on, like, you know, a good chunk of milk into the glass and gave it to her, but did not give her the roll cake. <laughs> and then... She, Nano is like, um, can I get a roll cake as well? And she's like, roll cake? And then she's like, oh no, you can have some sweet one. <laughs> Comes out from her head. <laughs> and now she's pissed. She's like, what the hell is this? What would happen if this happened outside? <laughs> and she has a literal flashback of what would happen if that thing comes out in front of everyone. And... <laughs> Oh my god. And then the professor just drinks the milk and lies down. Nano eats the roll cake. Not roll cake, so the sweet bun. And the professor's like, oh, I want that as well. <laughs> Nano just <laughs> consumes it quickly and the milk. The professor's like, all right, I have a long cake now. A lock cake. I think that's what it is. Oh, a balm kuchen. Okay, okay, a balm kuchen. I was like, what is a log cake? Balm kuchen. Okay. The, those round cakes, I think those are called balm kuchen. Yeah. <laughs> it brings that it was in the refrigerator. And Nano's like, why didn't you do that from the beginning? Why put it inside me? <laughs> like, these are food materials. 
Oh, that was funny. Um, I love the little sections in the middle, you know, when there's like another section when we see like they were playing the rock, paper, scissor and like, you know, like the roll cake comes out of his hand, her hand. And then the skipping segment where they try to skip and like, you know, all the different characters do different stuff. And today it was Yuko's turn. She just lies down and <laughs> does nothing. <laughs> okay. Next section, Yuko asks Mio for homework. Mio is like, all right, fine. You know, there you go. She realizes after handing over that, um, yeah, she has some stuff drawn in inside. She sketched it in the <clears throat> notebook. And oh my God. Now, like you know what like the thing that she was actually uh kind of afraid about is that yuko would see that and not only like you know she would see that she would actually spread it around the whole school uh but what i was thinking was like like obviously she's going to open it in front of everyone like either way everyone's going to get to know that what was sketched in that place so it wouldn't even like you know yuko wouldn't even need to actually spread it around it would automatically get spread around because she was going to copy the homework, you know, in, in the class. And obviously there are people like, you know, the students everywhere. And when she opens that page, like some student obviously will overlook that and see that. And they'll be like, oh, what is this? And, you know, go there and oh boy, it's going to get spread around either way. So it was not like, you know, like you could, wouldn't even need to spread it around. I feel like. <laughs> And obviously she's embarrassed. She's like, what am I going to do now? And you know what? Like the, the, the most, uh, what can I say, embarrassing part of this thing is what like Sasara is also part of this, like, you know, school. He was going to get to know that. And oh my God, <laughs> that would be devastating. So she's like, yeah, my school life will be over. I'm, I'm, I, I have to get that back. She goes and she asks nicely for, at first to, to Yuko. And she's like, can you give that back? Like, you know, like I, I have not done it tries to take it and not giving it back and then she, she and the next time she's like oh okay that's like not my math homework my math homework is here this one and she's like no this is a math homework i it's written on it all these like you know different ways and methods are not working at all so <laughs> what she does is her ultimate technique bring out money she takes out 1000 yen and she's like I'll buy it from you. Now, I really don't know why Yuko uh, actually started running from that. I think like she probably realized that there's something in this notebook that she doesn't want me to see. That's why she probably started running away, trying to, you know, like, you know, because she wanted to see what was in it. She just starts running on. Oh, my God. The, <laughs> an amazing chase scene is accompanied by that, you know, like, I don't know what she does. She goes in Super Saiyan mode or something. The whole, she runs so fast that the whole, like, you know, <laughs> school building, this, it, it completely became like normal sketches. You know, they were running so quickly. Like, the, the visual in itself wasn't able to, <laughs> wasn't able to keep going with the speed that she was running with. <laughs> and yeah, that was, that was a really good, Okay, I know I, I kind of noticed this after like you know I reacted to the first episode. This is done by Kyo Annie. I uh, okay, that is the reason why I'm like the animation is fantastic. This is quite an old anime. This came out in 2011. And like obviously it's done by Kyo Annie. That's why the animation is just superb. It's it's amazing, this animation. And uh <laughs> finally she at the end she was like almost giving up she's like i cannot reach her what am i going to do like you know and then she uses her genjutsu a sharingan whatever you call it she's like don't run in the hallway <laughs> her light, eyes light up <laughs> yuko's like what the hell and then she falls trips goes in front of her and Yuko was concerned. Yuko's like, are you okay? Like, what happened? You fell at a very high speed. And using that opportunity, she grabs the book and just runs away. <laughs> Poor Yuko, un unable to get homework, just is standing outside, probably punished. And I don't know what the hell Mio did after that. She goes back. She, she should have like, erased it or something, did something to it. She didn't do anything. 
you know she like wait a minute did she just hand the notebook to someone else yeah she passed the notebook in front like you know the teacher was going to get it and then she realizes she has not like wh what did she do after getting it back the first thing she should have done is like you know, erase the whole thing she didn't do it she, she just <laughs> got the notebook came back and sat down and she just gave it to the teacher and then she realizes that i have done nothing it's it's still there and then she's like oh teacher i have not done my homework <laughs> like obviously what else should should she do even then you know she has to salvage the situation okay mm. and then there was like that little section with the professor where she says that oh i want to clean the room and she's like yeah i'm not i'm going out to play it might be still early for that and then there was like annaka this girl who wore the ribbon in a weird way it was like a bunny ear and then there was that little section with uh mai where she sees the professor and uh, Nano eating cake and she goes to the convenience store to get some cake and there's only family sized cake there she's just staring all right and then comes the final section of this uh, episode uh Tasahara and this girl what's her name uh Tachibana Misato okay there you go oh I love this portion Oh my god, Sasar is amazing. She, he just... <laughs> I don't know where she gets her supply of firearms, but she always has like a gun or a bazooka in her hand. <laughs> and Sasahara is just so elegant. Oh my god. The way he... Okay, the way he does stuff. He, he, he picks up the... Like, you know, the, the thing. The uh, spoon like this. It's a golden spoon. Like this kind of you hold it like this drinks it and ah just so so elegant <laughs> okay the whole problem here was that um they were talking about uh what they were going to do in the cultural festival i think yeah uh and he was just not paying attention he was paying attention to the the brand this that all the other stuff and uh, Tachibana was like, oh, I shouldn't have like, you know, volunteered to be in here with this guy. <laughs> I don't know, we can see, like, you know, we can see she's, she's like that type of a Sundari character who just is always acts like, oh, I don't like him. But then, you know, in the inside, she's like, yeah. And she's like, you know, she sees Sasahara just reading the manga. Oh, my God, that section, the way Sasahara laughed was... I don't know what to feel about that. The way she he laughed. <laughs> Tachima just shot him. And then he... Then he's playing video games and the, Tachima gets like, you know, like a shotgun, a bazooka, this, that, and starts shooting at him one after the other. And oh my god. And she, he's like, okay, I'm going to the toilet. Just goes out. As he's going out, goes to the you know, toilet um the butler is waiting for him there and uh, just starts like you know changing his clothes and everything just like you know like tidying him up and oh my god like he, he he doesn't even stop he does his own thing keeps walking and the butler is just doing everything and after its end the butler slowly moves away and he's he comes inside the classroom you know all new clothes new stuff just just cleaned up perfect gets in He's Tachibana wearing the thing that he was wearing before. <laughs> Tachibana takes it out and she's like, e e e It's not that, like, what did she say? You're nothing special to me, got it? Typical Sundari behavior. Oh my god. And yeah, that's where it ends. <laughs> that, was, that was amazing. Fantastic episode. Oh boy. Oh yeah, this, I, I can understand what type of a show this is. I, I told this in the previous episode. Uh, this is pre pure chaos. This will be pure chaos. There won't be any, um, you know, connection to any of the scenes. Might be here and there, little, like you know, small little connections. But most of the, like you know, 
different uh, story sections will be i feel like completely random with some weird shenanigans happening and just chaos and uh, yeah that ah, i'm looking forward to more for more of this so that's it thanks for watching guys this was my reaction to niji joe episode number two if you guys enjoyed this video be sure to press the like button subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed comment down below anything you want to say and anything you want to let me know i'll check them out and that's it thanks for watching i will see you guys uh, next week with another episode of niji joe until then goodbye and have a nice day